Hey everyone, it's Project SPC, and I'm back today to do a video on the PeakDo wireless game streaming handheld. I say streaming handheld, but this is unique and impressive enough to stand out from devices like the Logitech G Cloud. I'll go over more on that later. First, I'd like to thank PeakDo for sending this over for review. This is a prototype and doesn't necessarily reflect the final product. All thoughts and opinions are my own, and I'm not getting paid for this review. PeakDo is new to the gaming handheld scene. I'll link to their Kickstarter in the description below. But it's not a new company. They have a strong background in wireless display solutions that work at very high speeds to deliver near zero millisecond lag. Some of the products have even been shown on Linus Tech Tips. So where does this device fit in? Well, PeakDo adopted their wireless display solutions into a handheld gaming form factor. Unlike the Logitech G Cloud, which uses an Android operating system and streaming services in your Wi-Fi, the Peak Do uses a transmitter and receiver to deliver high-quality, uncompressed, low-latency video. Let's go over the details of the device. So on the front, we have a 7-inch 1080p 60Hz display. On the top, we have some buttons here to navigate some menus, adjust volume and brightness, and turn the device on and off. Headphone jack. A spot to dissipate some of the heat generated by the device. For ports, we have a power delivery input port, USB Type-C. We have a USB Type-C video input and a mini HDMI port for video in as well. On the bottom, we have a little spot here for mounting like some tripod accessories. Now these look like speaker ports, but I think Retro Game Core said that the only speaker is here. And over here we have the HDMI receiver. So this is what the transmitter is going to go to. So you want to keep line of sight to this. On the sides, we have some Joy-Cons and yep, they are straight up Joy-Cons. Although they did pick a reasonably ergonomic Joy-Con to use with this, which I do like. It is much more comfortable to hold than the traditional Joy-Cons you'd get with a Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately, that means the triggers are also digital, which means racing games aren't going to be that fun to play on this. The device comes with a dongle. You connect that to your device, like your gaming computer, and it's going to take these two Joy-Cons and turn it into a controller on your device. With this device, I got the USB dongle. I got a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. A HDMI to Mini HDMI cable. HDMI transmitter with a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. And we also got an HDMI right angle adapter to make it easier to get that line of sight to the device. We also got a power supply and it actually has a Type-C for power delivery and also a Type-A so you can charge the controllers, the Joy-Cons, which have to be charged separately via USB Type-C port. We also have this wonderful carrying case, so you can actually fit your Peak Do right in this slot right here. And then you can store all of your accessories in here, like your charging cable, your transmitter, and everything fits nicely up in here, so you can keep it all in one nice, neat, and organized spot. To set it up, you'd first start by plugging in your wireless HDMI transmitter into a USB port, and then we're gonna actually plug this into a HDMI port on a computer. Once that's done, if the device is on and it has power, it's going to start transmitting the signal like so. Next, we're going to hook up the uh, controller dongle and I'm going to plug that into a USB port over here. And we've got the two devices here. I'm going to click them both on and see which one connects first. And it's the left. So I'm going to press these two buttons here and it's going to put it into pairing mode and I'm going to be able to connect the second one right here. Once that's done, you can go ahead and you can dock it with your device. These are like Joy-Cons, so you can actually just slide them in like so. And now you're back into the game. Your next question might be, what can I use this device with? 
Since it uses HDMI, you could hook it up to anything that has an HDMI port. Gaming PC, laptop, Xbox, PlayStation are all fair game. Do note that the Joy-Con USB dongle won't work on some game consoles. You can, however, pick up a controller mount for Xbox and PlayStation controllers on the Kickstarter. In my experience, after putting a few hours in on my gaming PC, playing a couple different games, they really do deliver on the low latency, high quality video. This was especially good on first person shooters. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 played wonderfully and I couldn't notice any display lag. When the connection was good, video and gameplay were buttery smooth. This is where the first issue comes up. The device needs line of sight, otherwise the video cuts out. I get it, it's a trade-off. High quality low latency video for line of sight transmission. This means your streaming device has to be in the same room as you. That might be a turn off for some people. Personally, I'm okay with this. I'm a father of two kids and my gaming PC is in the living room. When I'm using this, the TV isn't tied up with my game and I'm not away on the computer chair which makes me feel disconnected from my family. It gives me the impression I'm present but still letting me have my game time. To combat the line of sight issue, they do provide a right angle adapter for the HDMI port which can help you get better line of sight but I'm going to pick up an HDMI extension cable like this one and a longer USB-C to A cable and see if I can mount it up higher so I can get better line of sight transmission. This might be good if you're hooking up to a game console on your TV stand. As far as battery life goes, I got just over two and a half hours at 20% volume and brightness. I am using a prototype with the old screen. They do have a new screen that they're going to use and they claim it's gonna give you 20% additional battery life, which might mean up to three hours with production units. Although this is geared towards game streaming, there are a few other use cases for this device. This could be good for on-the-go productivity use. You could turn it into a wireless monitor or wired if you use the included USB-C cable or mini HDMI port. The other cool thing that I asked about is this transmitter is capable of pairing with a different receiver. Buying this device is like you already bought half of this dock kit. So if you could get the dock separately and you wanted to wirelessly transmit to something like a TV, you could. As of this moment, they don't plan to sell a separate dock, but I think it would be awesome if they offered that as an accessory. I think it could expand its overall utility, which would encourage more people to buy this. Overall, I enjoyed this product. This is somewhat of a niche product that isn't for everyone. I found use in it being able to play on the couch when my family is around. This is also great for gamers who like to play first person shooter games. I do think there's some utility to this as a second monitor, and I would like to explore using this with their other dock products. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.